So when you have, I say this always to my patients when they come and she has infertility and she doesn't, doesn't have children. I say, why do you want to have children? She looks at me, I was like, why she is asking? And I said, hey, I want, of course, I'm still patients, right? And I said, why do you want to have children? Everybody has children. My friends has children. And I said, what else? The biggest cause, which usually doesn't work. So when I get old, they will take care of me. I said, good luck. <laughs> right? Especially in this country. In this day and age, I would say, but especially in the West. Right? So I shouldn't have children. I shouldn't ask Allah for children. As I don't want enemies. خلاص. Or what about if I already have children? What do I do with them now? Give them for adoption? <laughs> Use them. Use them to get close to Allah. So I tell my patients who wants to have children, you know what? Why don't you make your meal for Allah? She said, what do you mean? I said, what did the Rasulullah told told us? Marry the one, the woman who makes you love her. She does things to make you love her more and she gets you more children. On the day of judgment, I will be boastful about the numbers of the Muslims. Make your knee for Allah. That's the reconciliation. That's what you need to do. Everything you do, make it for Allah. And you're sincere. And he'll train you and it becomes normal. And you came in here today. Why did you come? Don't answer me. Of course, you're going to tell me for Allah now. Okay? But in general, sure, for sure it's for Allah. But say it. Then he will test you. You know how he will test you? You come, you drove 45 minutes with all this traffic, you come in here and sit, and I didn't show up. If you got upset, then this is not for Allah. And the same comes for me. I came, I flew, I'm here, I'm waiting, and I have, everything is ready, and no one showed up, zero. If I get upset, then I'm not teaching for Allah. I'm teaching to impress people. Because I know he will reward me, I came. I came, he will reward me. And the same thing for you. So everything you do, everything you do, make, look to a near, look for a near intention, a good intention in it. And in fact, once you start doing this, you will find not one, not two, not a three, five, six intention, everything you do. And multiply, you do the math. Every good deed times 10, you get six good deeds, that's 60. So this is how you do it. Because when he said min, meaning there is other group who are not enemies. But then how is that? They are righteous. But how about if they are not righteous, but they are letting me obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My sabr, my being patient, my jihad in teaching them, my dua, my struggle. All these are good deeds. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, the, the, the really righteous people close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they loved when they are tested. They said, that's the opportunity now. May Allah give us one of this. But in general, always make intention for, and there is no good intention with an action that's haram. It doesn't work. It has to be a good deed pleasing to Allah. But in this, I can multiply it. And, and you do the math, how much is in your day? You invite people to your home, why? Somebody invites you and you go, why? Well, she invited me, of course I'm gonna go. I have nothing else to do. Her food is good. That's not for Allah. And you put the, who can give me six intentions if somebody invited you to our house? Good intentions, you'll get 60, Bismillah. Exactly, responding to an invitation, haq al-Muslim, as long as there is no disobedience. That's a good deal, two. It's When you go and she sees you, especially if she really had like prepared and she invited 50 people and the 50 people showed up, she's very happy. You made a Muslim happy. That's a good intention. Three. Make dua for her when you leave. Don't say, oh, hi. Right? When you come in, make dua. Salam alaikum. Say, hi, how are you? I always joke with the kids. I was like, what's hi mean? They look at me. I was like, you speak English. Yes, I do. But what is hi mean? What about salam alaikum? Make dua for me. Why are you a miser? So I go to her house, she opens the door, I say salam alaikum. That's a good deed. Okay. 
Then I leave. I make dua for her and her family. And her. that's a good deed. We do salah jama'ah together in the house. That's a good deed. You ate in her house and says, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. That's a good deed. I, I, I'm telling you, if you keep looking, you will find. And that's all good. Then you went and you enjoyed. And you met friends. And you come back with 100 hasanat. What's wrong with that? Seek the hereafter in what Allah gave you. 